Tuesdays. My name is Dale Duell, Application Engineer, and uh, we'll wait about another minute and wait till some more folks come in, and then we'll get started. Again, my name is Dale Duell, and this is Cam Logic's Tech Tuesday. Tech Tuesday is a video newsletter, if you will. We do this broadcast every Tuesday. Some days are Solid Edge, some days are NX, uh, some days are uh, Z Printer. I any product that the Cam Logic uh, family has to carry, uh, we will do seminars on on various Tuesdays. Today we're going to work with the Solid Edge steering wheel. And the steering wheel is going to allow us to do uh, many things, and it's mainly found in the synchronous uh, mode. But you'll see, um, but you'll see that its power and its use, and it can come up in in, in other forms as well. So the Cam Logic is, or the uh, Tech Tuesday rather, is brought to you by Cam Logic. And just a, a few quick uh, explanation of uh, uh, who we are, and what we do. Uh, we were founded in 1996 by Jim Carlisle. We're headquartered in Oxford, Michigan. Uh, we serve Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania. I have an office uh, myself in Ohio. Um, we carry CAM, CAD, analysis, data management, uh, many, many types of products, uh, both hardware and software. Um, in short, we are a, C a certified Siemens business partner, so um, anything that Siemens has as far as uh, the Siemens PLM, and that would be NX, Solid Edge, Femap, Insight, um, NX Cam, anything like that that, that is needed. Um, as far as in, from the software perspective, uh, we carry support and have experts on site for that. But then we also do some things like uh, reverse engineering uh, with uh, our, our Romer arms, uh, being able to go and pinpoint certain parts uh, on, on a model. Uh, we can uh, scan with handheld scanners, uh, scan that part and have that part appear uh, up on the laptop um, and then start machining that uh, and start machining that that part as the scanner sees it. Uh, we also can do rapid prototyping, and that is to to uh, take that uh, three dimensional part inside of the uh, from inside of the computer and actually put it in a printer in a in a three dimensional printer, and it will go out and print that. And you can actually hold the part that you were working on on the screen. You can hold it in your hand and uh, take it to trade shows, meetings, anything like that. So uh, we want to be your one-stop um, solution for both engineering software and hardware, and then also expertise. Every, as we said, everyone on the staff is. Um, is trained, uh, we're certified in, in, what the, in what we do. And then also, uh, we want to get to know you. Uh, we want to get to know uh, your, um, your processes, your abilities, the things that you need to do on a day-by-day a, a -day basis. Uh, nothing worse than having to call um, somebody and explain what you're, what you're making and what you're doing and why, you know, why you have the question that you do. Uh, it's much, much easier just to call uh, someone who already knows what you're doing and you know, get you started on toward that answer. So we do, uh, we do want to be more than a hardware and software store, if you will. Uh, we also want to be your partner. Uh, we want to be out there and, and work side by side with you um, and help you uh, be successful in using our solutions. Well, today we're going to talk about the Solid Edge steering wheel. And the steering wheel um, we are going to use today, there's many, many uses, but today we're going to move, drag, copy, rotate, and offset. So the, the steering wheel because of the synchronous technology is, is much like a, a handle. So if you think of a piece of metal and you've got the, the handle with a magnet on it, if you think of that and you get to pick up that piece of metal with that uh, magnet and handle, 
If you think of it that way, uh, you're going to be very, very successful using the solid edge steering wheel, and you'll see that uh, when we start with this. The anatomy of the steering wheel, uh, what we're going to cover today is the, second, the, the primary axis, the secondary axis, a axis, and the torus. Now, some other things that we have, you, you will cover this when we go do the demo, but you'll see that we have uh, a primary knob, a secondary knob, a tool plane, cardinal points, and an origin. So there are many parts of this steering wheel that are going to give us the tools that we need uh, to move objects and that type of thing. So without uh, too much further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I've opened my solid edge and I've started out on a part that I've got right here and I'm going to kind of zoom in so we can see it just a little bit better. Now this is a synchronous part, uh, but as I look at this I want to start uh, moving simple faces. So whenever I click on a face, my primary axis is going to come up. Now right now we see my primary axis and my origin point, that little orange ball down underneath and then the orange arrow sticking up. So we, we see those highlighted wheel is embedded underneath the skin of that surface. So if I were to start moving this, I could just click on my primary axis and drag this face up. So it could be thicker, or it, I could drag it down and this could be thinner. Okay? So it's going to allow me to do what I want with that. But if I look at that, if I look at this face and I go take my origin and I'm going to pull my steering wheel now out to this spot just so we can see. So that steering wheel is embedded under the skin of that. Um, and, as I, and as I look at this, we'll, we'll go through the anatomy of the steering wheel. One of the things that I have, turn off some dimensions, one of the things I have is a primary axis. Now if you want to think of this as the, uh, the Y axis, that's fine, uh, but this is the axis that is laying on the, the, the back plane, if you will, of the, of the steering wheel. So I have a primary axis. And then I also have a secondary axis, and it's a little, little smaller, but that secondary axis allows me to pull uh, that face in or out, depending which way I, I want it to go. At the end of each axis, we have a knob. So this would be the primary axis, and this would make this the primary knob. This is the secondary axis, and this is, would be the secondary knob. This, the knob allows us to control our handle. So while it was over here, I've taken the secondary knob and I've just spun it and it's going to go 90 degrees out to this face. It realizes that it, there's a face there and it's just going to snap to 90 degrees. So I now get to control this any way that I like. On the outside of this steering wheel is what we call a torus. Now, I end up calling this the steering wheel anyway because it looks like the steering wheel of a car, but it's actually called the torus. And this torus out here allows me to angle or to rotate faces, if I will. I can tip them up, tip them down, and just like you would a steering wheel of a car, turn it to the left, turn it to the right, and it's going to move. Now, my primary axis setting right up here is going up through one of my cardinal points and that's these points one two three four on the outside of the torus out here those are my cardinal points if you want to think uh, northeast southwest that's fine if you want to think positive y negative y positive x negative x think any way that you like but this these cardinal points allow me to change the main direction that I want to move that face. 
Now, in this case, it doesn't make any sense for me to take this green face and to try to slide it back in. That's, you know, there's other, there are better ways to do that. But it does make sense for me to want to move that face up or to move it down, just like we had talked about. So I get to work with that. Inside of the torus is a thing called the working plane. And it's a little blue field. I'm going to highlight it right over there. It's a little blue field that allows me to work uh, so that way I'm not going you know, uh, straight up or straight out or straight across. I'm working in that plane. So anything that I do allows me just to a free drag, if you will, to go inside of that plane, uh, the same plane that the handle uh, is, is locked onto. So having said that, just a real super quick review uh, on that. If I were to grab this and I could just simply move this face, the steering wheel is buried underneath here, and the origin and the primary axis is sticking out, if you will, of that face. So again, I could just move faces whichever, the, whichever way I needed to move faces. So I want to take that a little more. Uh, take that idea a little more, and I want to work with this face that we have here. And this is the the part number of the casting. Now, it doesn't matter if I put it in there. doesn't matter if it came already in there. Um, I can move this face. Uh, any part that comes inside of Solid Edge automatically belongs to me. Uh, it doesn't matter who made it. doesn't matter if I made it or if anyone else made it. When that part comes in, it's my part. So as you can see, I could choose to move this uh, Wilson part number. I could move that to the right side, or I could move it to the left side. And you also see that there's a box that's showing up, and it's showing me how much I'm displacing this. So for wherever it was, it really doesn't matter where it was to me, but I'm moving it over, say, like by... Um, 12, in this, in this case, 12 millimeter. So I'm actually moving it over. So we're not just grabbing and dragging. Uh, we're grabbing, we're moving with dimensions. We're moving with a purpose. I want to move this exactly over 12 millimeter. So I can take something like that. Now, I also get to offset, um, I we also get to offset uh, things. I get to take this handle, move it over. You'll see that in a second. But one of the things I get to do is I can take the origin of this, and I get to move the origin point to some other position. So in this case, I'm still concerned about the Wilson 568-2, but I want to move it from somewhere else. And I'm going to take the Shift key and I'm going to hit that command, and I'm going to bring this face up real quickly. So I'll bring that face up right there, setting on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Wilson 568-2, and I'm going to have it move from this corner and I'm going to take my torus, and I'm going to start to turn. Let's do that again real quickly. We'll take that real quickly. Once more, please. And I'll take my origin over to that point. Take my secondary knob, turn it that way. And then I'll go ahead and take this, and I'll take my torus now, and I will start to move my Wilson 5682. I will start to move that any way I want to, but it's moving back 
from this origin point, from that center origin point, as I move this around, it's going to move. And we can do that with features, we can do that with faces, we can do that with anything else we like. We might even want to take that origin and move the origin here closer to the center of that and spin that around and just take the Wilson 5682 and just turn it about itself. Okay, so we've, we've, we're taking it and rotating any face, any type of thing that we want. We're rotating that, making it exactly what we want. Now I'm going to hit Control Z and undo just for a second, just so we can see what else we can do with this, with this steering wheel. We also get to copy. I'm going to take this face right here, and I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to pick this working plane, and I'm going to click the working plane, which allows me to copy that hole. So that hole now gets to be put wherever I like it. And then, at, then I can take this, and I can move this once again to my center point. So we'll do that one more time. And I'll copy. And I'll move this hole. Move that hole to where I want to. I might take it from this point move it wherever I like, and then again I can take it, the handle is setting there in the center, center, and then I can take that and move it over to the center of my hole there. So I can have any type of relationship that I want from one side to another. Now, not so much um, with copying, uh, as it is at this point that we want to go ahead and cut, and, and there's just a simple way to do that. Uh, once again, I'll take my trademark and we'll spin this around. Now I'm going to hit shift, hit that working plane, it's, it's going to shift right there, and I'm going to go up to my home tab and I'm going to cut. So I'm actually taking those sets of faces and I'm going to move those and I'm going to move those and then paste that the Wilson trademark and I'm going to hit F3 which is going to allow me to turn that back to that plane and orient the Wilson trademark back to that plane now these are just faces, very easy to do, and I'll attach that Wilson trademark back onto that face. And I think I've got a little bit of problem there, and I think we'll uh, retouch that uh, a little bit later. Uh, what I'm done, I've come in crooked, which uh, it's easy to do. A little bit of undos, and it's going to give us back exactly what we want or where we started. So we can copy, we can remove things, we can paste things back in place, we can do exactly what we want to with our parts. Now, I'm going to switch over switch over to look at this part. Now this is just a little some sort of guide wheel that is uh, came off of a uh, came off of a conveyor system, but we want to do a little bit uh, a little bit of something more advanced with this. And what I'd like to do is this is per, uh, perfectly um, uh, concentric around here, just like you, what you think is a wheel. But I want to turn this wheel into a cam. So I want this to set a little bit sideways. So a couple things I want to do with this, I want you to notice that we're in the ordered environment. And when I look at this ordered environment, as I look at this, I see how this part was made. And it was drawn in one segment. Now, I, 
would not recommend doing this. I don't recommend for my students doing this. Uh, this is a part that I actually opened up and someone drew it this way and I would not recommend that part to be done that way. So a couple of things I have to do now, uh, and that is inside of ST3, Solid Edge ST3, I'm going to go out and I'm going to take that protrusion, that revolved protrusion, and I'm going to move it to the synchronous. So it's just simply going to move that part over there to the synchronous. So now that I have that, now I get to take this face and I'm going to use a combination of um, the uh, steering wheel and the live rules. I'm going to turn off my concentricity and I'm going to take the origin of this steering wheel and I'm going to move it out to the quadrant out there. Now, something new, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to take the primary axis and I'm going to move that back, oh, let's say four millimeters. This happens to be done in, in metric. So I get to move that back four millimeters. Now what that allows me to do is to take this face and to actually move it over to get what I want. And if I slow down just right, I will go ahead and catch that face. And now I have a concentric or a eccentric cam that once was, but I've used my steering wheel as an offset tool. I said, well, that's where you were, but I'd like to take and offset that and move that over. Now, we'll move over real quickly to an assembly. Very, very simple assembly just to show you what kind of assembly, uh, what type of tools that, that we can use. I'm going to go bring in my little clevis piece that I did once before. Use a tool called Flash Fit that just simply allows me to line up parts the way I want to. Now, in this assembly, this clevis or joiner piece has to actually run off of both um, rods. So I need to do something uh, very quickly with this. And so I want to, want to show you what I've done. I'm going to exit the assembly command. I'm going to exit that. I'm no longer placing it. And I'm just simply going to grab this part and I'm going to take the origin of my steering wheel and I'm going to place it right in the center of that part. And then I'm going to move my primary axis. So my primary axis is now going up and down. Now this part, because it's just axial aligned and floating up there, my part now is going to come down to the center of this. So I can use from the front, I can use different methods to go out and to place parts. And in this case, I've used the steering wheel to go bring this part down to this side. Now, for people in traditional, you would have to realize, well, I'm trying to make it axial aligned, but that part is nowhere near this over here. I'm not sure how I would get that done. With the steering wheel, I just move the part down to where it's in place. Now the second thing I want to do is take my select tool and I'm in the assembly. Right now I'm picking parts. Here's, a, here's the, uh, the pin, uh, here's the clevis, here's, a, here's another pin or a post that I've got to go to. But what I'm going to do, since, since these parts were done in synchronous, I can go over to a thing called face priority. And that allows me to take that allows me to take this face that I have right here and I can move this face over and stretch. And I'm going to turn on my concentricity. Remember I turned that off. So I'm going to turn on my concentricity so it takes the rest of that material and I'm going to go bring this over to the center point of this. So that allows me to adjust parts in the context of my assembly. 
So again, the steering wheel, very, very strong, very, very powerful. Uh, if this needed to be a little taller, now that I'm here, I could work with this part. Uh, I could take this part right here and just simply grab in the context of the assembly, and I could grab and drag that if I, if I so choose. Um, if I wanted to work with any other face in here, I could change those faces as I'm working with the assembly. So again, the steering wheel, very, very strong, very powerful set of tools. We're going to back up one, one more time just to see this. All of these tools allow you to go out and to control exactly what you want. Well, that's what we've got for today. Uh, very quick, we had a few flubs, uh, a few oopses. There's nothing, uh, nothing uh, like a live broadcast to bring out the, uh, to bring out Murphy's Law. But um, uh, we can further discuss this um, uh, if you give us, if you contact us, we can give you uh, more details on what we do, uh, or more de details on the steering wheel. So, uh, again, just to just to follow up with this. Uh, we offer training, technical support, consulting, anything that you need with this Solid Edge or with the NX or with the NX Cam, uh, the Z printer, the scanners, we offer those services and support. Our upcoming webinars um, for Cam Logics Tech Tuesday, May 10th, will be uh, NX. For our NX people, we will do an intro to PMI, which is called Product Manufacturing Information. Uh, very, very powerful tool, uh, allows you, if you want to call it 3D drafting, allows you to draft on your screen. Very strong, very powerful. May 17th, we'll be talking about NX blending, and uh, what's probably more important than anything um, is the tips and the tricks that you'll learn, the things that we know, the things that, that will make your job quicker. May 24th, we'll be back here with the solid edge, and we're going to be talking about working in a multiple CAD environment. So you're putting things together, and you get a part from SolidWorks, and you get another part from ProE, and you get an IGIS, and you get a, a STEP, and you maybe even you get a DWG. Well, all of those things somehow have to go together into one machine or one part. We'll show you how to do that inside of solid edge. May 31st, we'll do an introduction to solid edge insight file management, uh, our certified um, inside expert will be, on, will be on to give us that introduction. Uh, you can get today's replays um, on the YouTube. If you go out to YouTube, the CamLogic channel, the CamLogic channel out there has all of the replays. You can also visit our website uh, to get more information, but the videos themselves will, are now out on the YouTube. And, uh, and you can go out there and see those anytime that you like. Well, I thank you for joining us. Again, uh, feel free to contact me. My name is Dale Duell. Uh, my direct uh, phone number uh, is there on the screen, 740-341-4902. Uh, you can also reach me at 248-969-9201, uh, same office number, uh, extension 6209. Uh, that's our. That's my uh, direct extension to my office. If I'm not there, please feel free to contact me on my cell, which is the 740 number. Also, uh, give us a shout. Uh, email me, daled at camlogic.com, uh, or any member of the staff uh, that you need to. I thank you for your time. Uh, this will conclude the Solid Edge um, Cam Logic Tech Tuesday that we've got. And uh, 